Hi, my name is Grace from Grace's Glitter and today is my birthday. So I'm gonna be doing my birthday makeup. I have a lot of products from um, Ipsy to try out. I'll like insert footage of them here. And they sent me quite a few things that I'm excited to try. And I watched like a Hung Van Gogh makeup tutorial um, earlier today and it was inspiring to me. I kind of want to do a sort of like me, but a bronzier version of me. I know that's surprising given how pale I am. Um, and, you know, with a sort of sultry eye and some glitter. Okay, so I already have sunscreen on and it's pretty glow giving sunscreen. It's also been much warmer here. Um, so I think I'm gonna skip. I was thinking about using the Glow Recipe Ultra Fine Mist um, because it's, it's pretty glow giving, but I might just use this like to set my makeup later. I don't, I don't need any more juiciness going on. Um, although when I watch the Hung Van Gogh tutorial that I'm using as inspiration for everything I'm doing, because I find him inspirational. Um, he did go in with eye cream first, so I'm gonna try this one that's new to me. We're just gonna totally destroy my skin today, but it's fine, I'm allowed to. It's the Guava Vitamin C Bright, Bright Eye Gel Cream. Um, I really do like like uh, Glow Recipe products, um, so I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna just like pat it. It doesn't smell of much to me. Usually the Glow Recipe products have like a ton of fragrance in them, so, but, yeah, that's nice. It's like, you know, a gel cream, and I love that the packaging is pink and glass, it's cute. Um, so that out of the way, I think I'm going to use the Say Glowy Super Gel as a base today, um, because I'm going to be going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've only used that once. Um, and I think it's pretty full coverage. So I kind of want to share it out, but I want a glowy base um, underneath. I would massage my face the way he was massaging the model's face, but my face goes really red. It's like already going pretty red. So I'm gonna avoid doing that. So I just took it out of the box. <laughs> I had opened it, tried it, and then put it back in the box, but you know, boxes are nice and I wanted to open it up again for my birthday. So I'm using the shade Mont Blanc and it comes in this like squeeze tube container that I feel is going to be very messy. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. I know that I know it's super full coverage, so I'm trying not to like use too too much. And I'm gonna use it with a sponge. This is the e.l.f. camo concealer sponge. And I'm just gonna start patting it around my face. I think soft matte will be nice for the summer for me because I have really oily skin, especially in the summertime. You know, that wasn't too bad. I had watched Taylor Wynn's video using this foundation and I really thought it was gonna be like pow, like even with just a little bit, but the, um, the sponge seems to have sheared it out. I think that the key with this foundation is holding it this way so that it doesn't like spill all over the place because it will just like run everywhere if you hold it like this. I like the um, the coverage that it's giving. Okay, so this is the foundation on its own. I am gonna be using concealer. I think that you could build up the coverage with a brush, but I really prefer the way my makeup looks when I use a sponge, so I'm gonna stick with like a, a sponge today. I'm gonna wait to do the under eye concealer, which I'm gonna use the Huda, Hu I don't understand. In my head, I can say Huda Beauty, but like when I try to say it out loud, it just like goes super wrong. Anyway, um, the Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer under my eyes, um, and I'm gonna use the, the Faux Filter Concealer on my face. I am breaking out like around my chin. So we're just gonna do a little, boop boop of this. I feel like the sponge kind of lifted the concealer. Not sure why, I think maybe because I put it directly on my face. 
um, and then blended it out with the sponge. I'll try like again doing this, applying it with the sponge. I think that's better. So I put it like directly on the, on the sponge. I think that worked out. It is looking, you know, like makeup, but I don't think it's in a bad way. For the eyes, I was sent this iconic London Beachside Babe eyeshadow palette, and it's really pretty. It's really like these foils are so, so beautiful. Um, I hope you can see them. Uh, and I really think I want to use like these shades, these shades, and like these matte shades here. And then on top of it, I'd like to put this um, sort of glitter highlighter called Lingerie from Lorena Makeup. Um, this is like a, an indie brand, but the glitters that they make are just like beautiful. Um, I don't know how easily you can get that stuff. I haven't ordered from them in a while, but when I did used to order from them, I ordered, in my opinion, their best glitters and then I quit there. Although I'm sure I will place another order eventually. So eye primer's on and I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, I'm gonna start with this color called Warm Sand um, and just put it like all over the eyelid. I've never tried anything, um, any eyeshadows from Iconic London before, so this is like new to me. These mattes are nice. I didn't, I didn't expect anything really good or bad. I guess I expected it to be good because the brand is so expensive, um, which is part of the reason I myself haven't bought anything from Iconic London in the past. I'm gonna blend out the edges with this shade here called Coconut and a little fluffy brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use this shade called Bikini and this is a very red undertoned brown, which is probably gonna be good because um, I have green eyes. Um, you all can differ on that in the comments if you want to, but <laughs> Everybody has their opinion about my eye color. Okay, I'm slowly building up that color called Bikini with this Zoeva uh, Smoky Liner brush. Um, and just like keeping the, the like bulk of the pigment close to the lash line, like here and here, not bringing it in too, too much, maybe like halfway or three, you know, like a third of the way. And then going in and blending it out with that color warm sand. Now that I'm done with the mattes, I'm gonna go in with this color called Sundown. Um, this just seems really pretty to me and I'm gonna put that like on the outer part here and start blending and see what I get. Um, I'm gonna use a denser brush. This is a Farah Blender Brush 25E. I'm hoping I don't totally ruin this makeup. That's quite pretty. And then like in the center, I want to put this loose color called um, lingerie. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of NYX glitter glue because it's loose and I feel like it'll just look better if it has just a little something to stick to. Sometimes that can go either way. And I'm gonna use a MAC 219, just like a little pencil brush, and just, you know, pack it on here. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm a little nervous about this part because I got sent this Anastasia cream bronzer, but they sent me the shade Caramel and Caramel is really medium toned. I might abandon ship on this one, actually. I'm gonna try it on the back of my hand, but I have tried this color on the back of my hand before. And yeah, I just, I don't see that going well for me. I think I'm gonna look really orange, so we'll abandon ship on that. But I do have another one that is relatively new to me from LYS and just has like, I mean, are those similar? No, that one is um, much more neutral. I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna use that and that one I'm gonna put on the back of my hand and then put on my face. Um, I will give this to a friend. Sorry, friend, that I've stuck my hand in it already, but um, yeah. I was really excited about that, so that's a little bit disappointing, but that's fine. The LYS one is called No Limit, oh, the No Limits Bronzer in Harmony. I do think I've used this on my channel before, and it was really, really nice. Um, and I like to put it on with sort of like a fluffy blush brush. I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna use this multitask brush from Real Techniques and just apply. This one you don't, it looks really nice on camera, I think. Don't have to work super quickly with this and actually it's looking really, really nice. Um, I've never tried anything from LYS before and this is just like such a good first impression of the brand for me. Um, so now I would be really interested to see what else um, they have. I know that people love the foundation, so maybe at some point I'll pick that up. But yeah, and I'm gonna take this down the neck. I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put on the under eye concealer, which I still want to do. So I'm gonna use the Glowish concealer. This is very lightweight stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna put it on my actual dark circles. I don't have or use like a technique that's different from other people when it comes to this, so. I think the skin looks pretty decent. I'm gonna pat out that line. Maybe I'll, I'll powder that line. I have a, a powder that I was sent to try, and this says it's translucent. So let's try this. This is the Dominique by Dominique, no, Dominique Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. There we go. And get these like little tweezers. Take that off. I'm gonna, oh, I don't like that this doesn't have like a lock mechanism on it. I don't love that, but do like a little bit in the cap. We'll use a little powder poofy. These powder poofies are really nice. Okay. It's probably a good place to test the powder anyway because I'm gonna let my bangs down. Um, I'm like a little bit on the nasal labial folds, I think. Which are right here. That's, I'm good on the powder. That powder's pretty decent, I don't know. It looks a little dry, but that could be the foundation, so. I don't know. Nice. This is decent. I don't love powders all that much, but this seems fine. <laughs> Doing my makeup on my birthday makes me really happy, um, but I received a Persona Cosmetics blush. And I've never tried any of these. Always have been super curious about them. This was like hitting the freaking jackpot. Um, this one's called Car Caramel. Caramel, caramel, and um, it looks like such a beautiful neutral. It doesn't look like caramel to me. Like it looks like a mauve. Um, I 
don't want to touch it. It's so beautiful. Look how, look at all of its beautiful perfectness. Okay, let me find a blush brush. Not sure how much this will pick up. We'll see, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it didn't pick up all that much, so. I don't know if you can see that, but. I'm a little nervous. Blushes these days, you know. It used to be that you'd have to like really build up a blush to see anything happening. And now it's like gentle, which is a good thing. I love it. I feel sun-kissed. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to blend it out more. So I'm gonna find a clean brush. And, like work that in. It's such a nice blush shade. I mean, you can decide for yourself what you think, but it's really neutral and pretty. And I, and I love it. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I don't really know how great it looks in there, but in person, it looks really, really nice. I'm gonna do fake freckles with my trusty old Revlon Colorstay Semi-Permanent Brow Ink in Blonde Ink. Cause I just think it makes the base look little lighter than it actually is like in terms of like the heaviness of the um the foundation okay so this is the the Lawless Soft Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax in the shade is medium dark. Um, it comes with this little mini wand and it does add some color to the brows. I don't require a whole lot from a brow gel other than it like, you know, grooms and holds in some capacity. Now I'll do mascara. Another Ipsy thing, lovely. This is the um, MAC Magic Extension 5 millimeter fiber mascara. Um, I have pretty good eyelashes, but I'm willing to try it anyway. I'm a little nervous about the brush. Oh, it looks really dry. Guys, it looks really dry. The like la the mascara in here feels really thick, like when you take out the wand. It's pretty easy to use though. I kind of like it. We'll see. The jury's out, but it's pretty nice. All right, all right, all right. So. You guys are gonna be like, that was the craziest box anyone has ever received from I Ipsy. And it really was, it was really quite something. Another thing that they sent me is the Anastasia Satin Lipstick in Praline. It's rare that one of these nude shades looks good on me. So we'll see, I'm going to use a lip liner first. So my favorite lip liner is the Vive Brat Modern Lip Definer. God help me with this praline thing, but whatever. Here you go. Oh, um, wait a second. We'll see. It's very nude, but I actually think it works. A little dry. I think it works. I'm actually gonna use the Ray Rider highlight from, um, from Kaleidos makeup. I just haven't used it in a while. A little bit of a shop my stash with a fan brush. It's, this one reminds me a lot of um, 
Nabla Ozone, which is my favorite highlighter. So it's very subtle, but I do want to add a lip gloss. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath uh, Bronze Astral. This is like a, a sample size of this lip gloss, but I love the way this has gold glitter in it, but it also has pink glitter in it. And oh my God, it looks so good in photos. So there we go. I'm gonna let my hair down and put on the, the fit. And then I will be back to show you that. And then we'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed this so far. Okay, this is the look. I just decided I wanted to wear my hair up because it's a kind of a hair up day. Um, and then I've got this cute little top. I'm wearing white pants with it. Um, it's like long pearly earrings. And I think it goes really well with the nails. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this outfit is really me, but it feels like it today. And I feel very like um, 60s inspired. This is how the birthday makeup ended up looking. Um, I'm really loving the eye. It's kind of disco ball-y and glittery. That is the outfit. And obviously everything in my room is pink. I'm wearing Crocs, but I will change shoes at some point. Um, yeah, it's a little bit overcast today, but this outfit's making me happy. I'm gonna go make myself a cake and have a good birthday with my friends. Okay, bye.